Hello friends, Heidi here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And yes, they're still working on the roof, so you might still hear some pounding, but it's relatively quiet right now. So I thought I'd try to hurry and shoot a video on how to make your own whipped cream. It's super easy and there's various different ways you can do it. And I'm today going to be doing it entirely off grid like I always do, which is using my OXO egg beater. And uh, that's what I always use for making the whipped cream and it's it's a very simple process. Now I did do a video a while back, maybe two years ago about making chocolate cream pie, but it was much darker in this kitchen and it was the whole pie. And I figured I'd break it up so you can have a video just on making the whipped cream and some variations that you can do with it. So I'm gonna bring you over here and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need is going to be a deeper bowl. A deeper bowl is best because it's gonna help keep things from the whipped cream from splashing all over the place. The deeper it is, the better when it comes to this kind of thing. And then of course you're gonna need either an electric beater or an egg beater like I got here. I'll go ahead and link to this one below for those who are interested in an off-grid method way of doing it. And then you're going to need some heavy whipping cream. I really prefer the organic whipping cream for this. They're heavy whipping cream. So uh, if, you, if you don't have dairy animals, uh, I recommend this. It's been the best I've used. And a suggestion, but not a necessity, is some cream of tartar. And then some either, you can either use regular granulated sugar or even your own homemade powdered sugar. And this is all organic. I got a video on just making uh, organic powdered sugar because it's really expensive to find the organic powdered sugar in the store, but it's super easy to make it yourself. So I'll go ahead and link to that video right up here. Now the nice thing about the powdered sugar is that it's going to dissolve a lot better, a lot easier in your whipped cream than using the granulated sugar, but I've always used granulated, most of the time I've used granulated sugar with no problem. You just gotta get it in at the right time. And uh, anyway, we'll cover that. And then whatever flavorings you choose. Now, if you're going to make, uh, what I've got here is my own homemade extracts. I've got coffee, I've got raspberry, the raspberry I thought I used up and then I found it, uh, vanilla, which is typically what I use, orange, and chocolate now i haven't tried these flavors in my whipped cream yet and next time i make either a chocolate cream pie or an orange cream pie or a raspberry cream pie i plan on trying these flavors or maybe even using the coffee in the whipped cream for the chocolate cream pie that might be really good too so those are just some options today i'm going to stick with vanilla because i need this to be just very neutral for what I plan on using it for. And I'll be shooting a video on that soon too, so be watching for it if I can find another quiet moment like I've got right now. So let's get busy. Typically one cup of your whipping cream is gonna be what you'll need. It depends on how large of a batch you wanna make, but if I'm doing a, a cream pie, one cup is what I use. And, that, and I'm not doing, this isn't for a cream pie. This is actually for a breakfast. So one cup of whipping cream, and it's best if it's room temperature, but I've used it straight out of the fridge and not had any issues with it. And so pour that in there. And I recommend that you have a rubber or silicone spatula that you can use to scrape all the goodness out of there and make sure you get that in your bowl. So then the very next thing you wanna do, you don't wanna add anything else to this. Just start off with your whipping cream and then you're just gonna start whipping it. Now what you might want to do, and I do this sometimes, is this still going to splash? Consider it kind of hanging a towel or having some kind of barrier right here to keep it from getting all over your wall and your little decorative doodads. So this is going to take a couple minutes to get it. You want to just beat it until it starts to get thick. And that's when you're going to add your other ingredients. Okay, this is about the point that I start, you can see it's starting to thicken up, it's, it's pretty bubbly. This is when I'm going to add my, my powdered sugar, so up to three tablespoons at most for, your, for a one cup of your whipped cream. There's one, and it's actually a good idea to kind of stir it around a little bit as you add it. There's two, and three. Okay, now you're gonna whip it some more. And then at this point is a good time to add 
about a pinch to maybe a quarter teaspoon of your cream of tartar. What this does is it helps your whipping cream hold its peaks, its shape. We'll add a couple of pinches. You don't need very much. And you can see that the lines, kind of like when it's soap making, I've got trace starting to show up and that's, that's good. We're coming along real good here. Okay, now it's getting pretty thick. So before it gets too thick, uh, you, this is where you're gonna wanna add your extract and up to a tablespoon. So whatever flavoring you're gonna use. And then, because if you wait too long, you'll end up, you'll have to whip it in there still. And you don't wanna overbeat your whipped cream or it'll just, it'll totally, suddenly it just changes the texture and then it starts to turn to butter. There is pretty good. You don't want to go much more than that, or it's gonna it's gonna get it's not gonna be the right texture for you. But if some of your stuff, if you got if you forgot and you didn't get your stuff mixed in, then add your flavor and just gently stir it or fold it in. That's gonna be your best bet because you don't want the texture. You don't want to go too far, or suddenly it'll change. And I wanted to show you real quick since I'm right here. I've got some chocolate syrup cooking away on over here on the hot plate, plugged into our solar power. Uh, I bought some ice cream while I was at the store today as a, you know, just to spoil Mr. Rain and Dave, the guy that's uh, helping replace our roof. And so I thought I'd spoil him, making some chocolate syrup to go with the ice cream. So anyway, there we go. There's your, there's an easy way. Look how thick that is. A nice thick whipped cream, very easy to do. Uh, again, if you have your own dairy animals, you just take that good heavy cream right off the top and it's so easy to make your own. And then don't forget your flavorings. Uh, whatever you want to do, just be creative with that. There's so many great things you can do with whipped cream. Uh, I make, sometimes I'll make a, um, I haven't done it in a while, but I make the uh, Black Forest cake. The guys, we're not big cake eaters around here. But the black forest cake, especially made from scratch, is one thing that the guys really love. So sometimes for their birthdays, I'll make them a black forest cake. And then I'll put the homemade whipped cream. And except, instead of using the other flavors, I'm going to use, uh, if I'm doing the cherry, like which is your standard black forest cake, is cherry flavored, then I'll put a little Kirschwasser in there. And that's what you do to get that kind of more cherry. It's a cherry brandy that you stick in there. But if I was to do it all over again, I would try... Uh, my younger son, he tends to like flavors like orange better. And um, I have made an orange one before. And now that I've got my own homemade orange extract, I would add that in. I think that would be really good. So just some, some more ideas besides just using as a topping for whatever. But uh, anyway, your own homemade whipped cream, very easy to do and very tasty. And oh boy, it sure smells good too. It's kind of hard not to just want to eat this stuff right out of the bowl. <laughs> just kidding. Oh yes, and if you want, if I didn't say it already, if you want to see my chocolate syrup recipe, I'll go ahead and link to it right up here. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and God bless.